Yeah, hi folks. What we're doing here today is uh, just going to talk a little bit about your basic, kind of real common Chinese uh, chainsaw. And this saw is going to be uh, given to a family member. And so I'm shooting this video just to basically get them a little bit familiar with it and how to start it. Had different things wrong with it, like uh, the, the starter rope, the recoil, uh, the on-off switch didn't work on the choke. Uh, it wouldn't go all the way back in. Just different things. Um, but other than that, well, yeah, up front, this cover up here was too high, uh, and it would run into the handle. Um, like right now, it still hits it a little bit, and you have to tap it to go down to bring the brake back. But uh, I shaved off quite a bit of it, and uh, if you go mixing and matching, matching parts from one saw to another on these clones, Sometimes they'll work, sometimes they won't work. A lot of the parts inside are very interchangeable, even though they're even different size saws. Uh, but anyway, getting on to the task at hand, I guess uh, from an observation standpoint, it's a decent cutter. I have to say that. Uh, it's a, it says it's a 62cc saw, so does it run anything like a, let's say, a, an MS361? Nah. Nope. Uh, but... It's still a pretty decent cutter. One thing good about them, uh, all of them that I've ever worked on, is uh, they seem to hold their power pretty decent as they're losing. You know, if you lay into something too hard, you start to get too much buildup on something, they're pretty gradual about the way they fall out of their power band, so to speak. So, let's do what we got here today. Uh, a lot of them come with this uh, gentle pull start. You pull it, and then all of a sudden it just fires. It's got a spring assist internally. And what a lot of people do when they're having problems with them, they jerk a whole bunch and they jerk too far and it breaks the cords, breaks the starter assembly inside. But uh, it's mostly a, a short thing. You bring it up to where it's going to catch and then just go ahead and do it real fast like you would do it a bigger saw that you meant you were serious about. So, starting it. This is a bubble assist saw which means uh, she's got a bubble right here for uh, drawing the air out of the, the carburetor and the lines. And, and every time you push this, what it does is it evacuates air all the way up through the carburetor back and then it's throwing stuff back into the tank. So you normally just push these about uh, 10 or 12 times. You can tell when they start to work and they start pulling stuff through. Yeah, that was another thing that was wrong with this one. It had a cracked line. Uh, now that choke was already out, but... To start this, you're going to pump her up about 12 times. You Maybe around 5 or 6, you should start seeing fuel coming through here. Then pull your choke out, just like you would on most saws. Then you go ahead, take your on-off switch and bring her up into international on. You know, up or to the right, international standards for on. So in this case, we just go up and she's on. So now you're all set to go. This does not have any lock assembly or anything for starting it to keep it at a medium or high idle. And it consequently does not have a release once it starts. Uh, now, I've seen other ones that do. This one does not. Anyway, <clears throat> go ahead and make sure your brake is engaged on your chain. Just like that right there. She's locked in, into place real good right now. And uh, test it that it will release when you slap it, and it does. Uh, so, you can see there now it rolls real easy. Uh, anyway, they're all set. What we're going to do is gas her up, oil her up, take it out, get ready to do a uh, start up on it. We'll do the start up and we'll do a couple quick cuts and you'll see basically how well they run. Okay? See you outside, folks. Okay, we're back with you now. We've got the saw. It's fueled up, it's oiled up, and... Uh, just a quick review, we're going to pump up the, the fuel about 10 or 12 times. We're going to pull the choke lever. We're going to turn the switch to on. We're going to make sure that the brake lock is engaged. We're going to pull it until she burps. Once it does that first burp or fire the first couple, the first time, then we're going to go ahead and push the choke on in and continue to pull. Okay, on these logs right here, I don't know if you see it, that kind of, those dark spots, those stains, that greening or bluing, that's from uh, southern pine beetles, so that's one quick way to tell these are pine trees, okay?
we've got the fuel coming now and once it starts coming I try not to push it too fast because when lines get older if you push it too fast you can actually blow them out so it's probably doing real good right about now just like we said before from there we hit that choke now we'll hit that on off switch okay now to keep it in camera we'll go ahead and start it right here on the ground because I know I've got it aimed kind of low so wouldn't be a normal start this way we come up until the spring hits there you probably heard it real good that time she burped trying to run so we push the choke in and now we once again make sure that brake is still locked and it's going to fire here Thanks for watching.